All right, went to Arby's to get their mac and cheese, their new white cheddar mac and cheese, and came across their uh, fish and cheddar. So I'm not a huge fan of cheese on fish, but it says it hangs over the bun. I'm intrigued. You got me, Arby's. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Check it out. There it is in the wrapper. M&M. We're keeping it old school today, but check it out. Fish and cheddar. Very simple. Pollock sandwich. Going to have some tartar sauce, some lettuce, some cheddar cheese on a bun. It is what it is. Let's check it out. All right, check it out right there. This is a really mashed down sandwich. You can check it out on the back end right there. Got a nice slope going down, kind of manhandled a little bit. But you see the uh, cheddar cheese sauce on there. There is the shredded lettuce. It's got some tartar sauce on the bottom. And there is the pollock, which it does, you know, kind of go over the bun right there. So they were not uh, making that up. But we're going to go right into this area right here. $4.19, if I didn't say it already. Pollock. This is fish and um, cheese. Always skeptical of fish and cheese, but uh, here we go. All right, so that first bite was satisfying. Take a look right there. Had a nice fish flavor. The outer coating has a nice crunch to it. Nice little flavor as well. And I did get a nice little mixture of the uh, cheese with the tartar sauce. But I'm going to say this sandwich to me just to me personally, would be better without the cheese. Just saying it, tartar sauce, lettuce, done deal with the Pollock, and I think you have a really nice uh, sandwich. $4.19, it is a really nice size uh, filet right there too. It definitely does uh, work for me, but uh, the mixture of that cheese with the tartar sauce and the fish, not 100% loving it, but uh, let's go in for a second bite. We'll give it a rating. Quick review today. Like I said in the intro, went to Arby's to get their new uh, white cheddar uh, mac and cheese. You've either seen that uh, review already or you're going to see it later. Who knows? Uh, I probably know. But no, no, no. Not at this moment. I do not know, uh, but we'll have to check it out. So uh, one more bite. All right, so let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the fish and cheese sandwich from Arby's... Phone call. Yeah, it's on vibrate mode. I'm going to give that sandwich a rating of... Let's go... 79. We're going to give it a 79. Definitely could have been in that 85 to 88 range uh, without that cheese. No cheese on fish the majority of the time. Sometimes I like shrimp in like a uh, pasta sauce, like a cheesy pasta sauce, a couple of things like that. But uh, other than that, no cheese with fish. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the Masses. In closing, hope everyone had a really great uh, Christmas and hope you're enjoying the holidays uh, with friends and family. And uh, I just ate some Arby's. So now I'm going to try their uh, mac and cheese. They have a new white cheddar mac and cheese. I filmed this one first. I'm filming that one next. But which one is going to be launched first? You'll know. You'll know. Check the Arby's playlist. Yeah, you'll know. All right, bonus footage. I'll also say that I got a bag of uh, Taco Bell, and uh, that video is going to be coming out soon because they as well launched uh, some items on the day after Christmas, uh, just like Arby's. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, reviews. Food reviews. YouTube. It's, it's what I do.